builder kids and I just got this new glove here and I couldn't it was hard for me to break it in so we were gonna use this hand I mean, my dad's old jump rope handle but he fixed it so now we're gonna use this handle we're gonna be using these two balls even though you only need one ball and this string to put it all together and yeah. Yeah, we're going to build a, a mallet, a baseball mallet. So you can buy them. They're only like $15 or $20, but we have all this stuff. So we thought it'd be a cool little project to do. So some of the mallets look like a hammer, right? It's a handle, and it has a round uh, oh. wooden ball you, size of like a baseball on the end of it. And you smack it in your glove, and, it, and it's supposed to break in. There's yeah. different ways to break it in. You could just like put a baseball on it, sleep on it for a few days, but that wouldn't be comfortable. Yeah, yeah, and you could use different oils, like conditioning oils, to, to work leather on a glove. Um, this one, I think, is more of like a synthetic leather. Kobe just got a new glove that's, that's leather. We put some conditioning oil on it, but um, we're going to do this baseball mallet. So like I said, there's two different types. The one is like a, 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 like a hammer-style handle with the ball affixed to the end of it, and then the other one is essentially just like a ball that has a rope coming off of it, so you could swing it and into it. We're gonna have like a combination of that. We're gonna take, like Blake said, this old handle. We're gonna drill a hole in the baseball, and I'll tell you about the softball in a second. And then we're gonna feed the uh, this rope down through it. We're gonna tie a knot on one side of it, and we're gonna tie a knot on the other side, and then we're gonna run it down through and tie a knot here so that we can even make it adjustable if we want to. Wait, I didn't know this part. So we're not just gonna go like. No, no, we're gonna have it have a little bit of rope in between so that. So like, yep. Mm -hmm, yeah. I feel like it would you be could, easier to smack it like. You could, you could do it like that too, but then you gotta watch because depending on how deep you wanna get into it, your knuckles might hit it because we have a short handle. Like if we had a longer handle, then we could, but it we have a short handle. Like yep. Like, yeah. And if you have a little bit of rope in between the ball and the handle, you're gonna get a little you're bit more. Get, like, I would just have to smack it like this and it would. Yeah, you're gonna get that whipping motion. It's gonna be more momentum, and it's gonna it's gonna break it. break it in a little faster. So the reason we have this softball, you probably noticed, the softball. This is an 11 inch softball. So there's 11 inch and 12 inch. That's an 11 inch. It's just a little bit bigger than the baseball. So on it's this, just a yeah, on this glove it might be a little tight. We'll use the baseball. But on Kobe's glove, his is a 12 and a half. This is an 11 and a half. On the 12 and a half, the the 11 inch softball actually will do a real nice job breaking it in. So. We're going to use both of those. So we're going to drill a hole in both of these. We're going to put them in the vise. We're going to drill it. And then we're going to put the rope in there. Mm -hmm. But also, we didn't, we didn't know that there was different size softball. No, we just found that out. A friend of ours was telling us about it. And we're going to try the 11 inch and give it a shot. Okay, we got the vise over here. Softball, baseball, rope. Um, got a drill. Put the right size drill bit. Such as a little bit bigger than the rope itself which Blake has over here, which you can see. Um, and if you look, the softball and the baseball are both like this. They have a thinner section and then a fatter section. We're gonna drill through this, this bigger section so that we don't get too close and take a chance of the, the stitching ripping. So we're gonna put this in the vise and then we are gonna drill it. Okay. I don't know if this bit's gonna be long enough. We might have to do it from both sides on this softball. We'll see how this goes. No, we're gonna dump this. That was like powder. I don't know. That was kind of strange how that just came out of there. Um, did he get a uh, maybe a uh, oh, actually a piece of tie wire? We'll see if tie wire goes down through it. If not, we'll try a hanger. Maybe we'll get a, an old metal hanger and stick it down through. But for right now, I'm gonna just get a piece of tie wire and, and stick it through. See if it works. Oh, nope, definitely did not. Close. Well, I think the key is going to be we're going to get a longer bit for this one. So we're going to do the same thing on the baseball, and this should go right through the baseball. Can I try? Yeah. Let me get it started, and then you can. It's going to go through right, straight through the bounce. Okay, here you want to do it. 
Okay. Keep going, keep going. Faster. Whoop. Okay. It didn't go through it quite. Uh, it's there, it's there. Ooh, yeah. Oh, and there's all kinds of brown. I think that came from that rubber core in the center. It's, it's out. It's out. We made it through. Let's see. Yep. Came, this one came all the way through. Okay. So we're going to get a longer. This one went straight through the baseball. We're going to get a longer bit. We'll redo the softball and then we'll show you how we tie it. I can't see you. Okay, so we um, put the string through the ball and it didn't come all the way through. So we had we used these needle nose pliers and the hole was a little bit too small for me to grab it. So when I stuck them in, I pushed, I pulled them out, but it was hard to, and I widened up the hole so I could fit these in. I pulled it out. Yep, and now we're gonna tie a knot in this side and a knot on the other side to hold it, and then we're gonna fish the wire down through here. <clears throat> you can put a hook on the top of this if you want. You don't have to drill a hole through it. This one already had a hole most of the way through, so we just turned it around and finished it. But if, if you just have any other sort of handle, you could put like a little hook uh, right on there and just tie the rope right to that. So that's what we're gonna do, oh, right? We had, it already had a hole, so. We yeah, we already had a hole. Okay, so let's just tie a knot. Well, you'd have to make a hole to put the hook in. Yeah, well, yeah, you might have to <clears throat> do that. We're gonna do a double knot just so it doesn't come out. That first one was a pretzel knot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little pretzel knot. Like that. Pull it nice and tight. That way the ball is going to stay on. You want to do a knot on the other side? Mm. No. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know how? No, I ever taught me. So look. We're going to loop. This is a big rope. So we're going to loop it over and then just bring it back through to itself. And one of the tricks you could do is just hold your fingers here to keep it in place, then we're gonna pull it tight. It's kind of hard to be a really long rope. Yep. We got a shorter rope. Yep, and then we just have a little knot there, and that'll keep the ball in place. <clears throat> and the other nice thing with using a rope like this, cut the rope. yep, we could just switch, switch the ball out at any time. We could take the knot out, and we could run the rope through a different size ball like this bigger softball, if we wanna work on a bigger glove. And then, <clears throat> we're gonna take the end of the string, we wanna fish it through here, put it through the handle. You might have to twist it a little bit as you're putting it in. Yeah. Sometimes you just have to <clears throat> twist it as you're pushing it through. That way it works its way all the way down through. Yep, keep going. It's, not it's almost there. Sometimes you have to twist the handle too. I was twisting the handle. See it down in there. Oh, it's out. There you go. And it popped out. <laughs> and now. <clears throat> pull it. <clears throat> there you go. So the two things you could do. One, if you want, you could tie another knot right here before the handle, so you could you could set the ball length, or you could just tie a knot down at the bottom. I think, and you can, and you would like be able to untie that knot. Yeah. If you made like a little string on the outside, if you want it to be shorter or longer. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie. We're just gonna tie a knot down the bottom. But when we go to cut this, I'm gonna leave this long. That way, if we ever want to extend the length of this or put a different we ball on it, we just untie the knot. <clears throat> just untie the knot, and that's it. So we're gonna do a little knot right here, and then it'll be done. Well, we still have to cut it there. And there you go. Well, you still gotta cut it. Yeah, we have to cut it. We're not gonna leave this rope really that long, but. If it was that long, <laughs> we could just undo that. Yep, and then you put your glove, we'll put your glove like on a pillow or something on the ground, and then you could just, you could just hit it like that. It makes you bleed. Yep, it does. You can move it around. We're gonna, I'm going to make this a little bit shorter so that it's not whipping around as much, but there you go. Anything else, Blake? What do you think? If you, you want a longer part, but we, we 
don't really. No, no, it's good. Because so. we know we're not going to get hit. Yeah. And our gloves are. Yep. Okay, well that wraps up this one. Blake, you want to wrap it up? Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching and hit the like button and the subscribe button while you're down there. Hit the um, notification bell and happy building. <laughs>